Hi everyone, it's Abby here, and, um, it's afternoon, and I want to thank y'all for clicking on this video and watching it. Today, I want to talk about something that I don't think I've ever talked about on YouTube before, but I'm hoping it will give y'all girls some advice for when you do your hair. Okay, so this video is for girls that have long hair that are tender-headed. If you're a girl and you have long hair or t and you're tender-headed, or even if your hair's not very long and you're still tender-headed, I know that doing your hair is like, it seems like sometimes when you're tender-headed and you're doing your hair, it, it really feels like somebody's really pulling your hair when you're just trying to do it. And it gets very frustrating. I'm talking about myself as well because, I mean, I'm tender-headed. So, I wanted to teach y'all some tricks or hacks or whatever you want to call it to help. Um, trick number one. If you are a girl... And you have long hair and you're tender headed be sure to when you take a shower to shampoo and condition your hair probably at least two or three times uh, it sounds like a lot but I usually wash my hair at least twice at least with conditioner because conditioner is what helps get the tangles out and since I'm tender headed as it is um, just when you take your shower if you are tender-headed and just be sure to um, condition your hair twice because that might help a little bit on the tangles or to help get the tangles out um number two um, thing number two is to buy some detangler spray what I mean by detangler is Here's this thing called Kid Spray on Detangler. It looks like this right here. And mine has a watermelon on it, but I don't know. You might could get them with different things on them. I'm not sure. And this I have found at, um, I found it at Walmart or Dollar Tree. I don't know. Dollar General might sell them. If you have a Dollar Tree where you live and you see this right here that says Kid Spray on Detangler, be sure to get it if you're tender-headed because it really does help with the tangles. At least it does mine. As a matter of fact, I can't hardly do my hair without detangler spray. Um, and actually, this is a good hack for girls with long hair that are tender-headed because it seems to help. And if you get them from, um, if you get them from Dollar Tree, they're just a dollar. So that is a really good hack for me. Um, I think I'm on hack number three. Is if you, um, now if you're like me, I, I don't know if I've ever wore my hair in a bun or if I have, it's been a long time. So if you're the kind of girl that liked your hair braided or in a bun, that would be my idea. As a matter of fact, I actually have my hair in a ponytail right now. But, say, if you're going somewhere, like, especially if it's windy or rainy, or if you're going somewhere that you think your hair is going to get messed up easily, having it in a bun or a braid um, really seemed to help. Um, I haven't hardly worn my hair in a bun and a long time if I even ever have but if you know how to braid your hair or French braid your hair or know anybody that can braid your hair for you I usually I usually how I do my hair is if I'm doing it if I have to do my hair by myself I usually leave it down or put it in a ponytail um but if it's like a really windy day you're probably either going to want your hair braided or um, 
or in a bun because if your hair is just down and it's really windy and you're very tender headed and your hair goes all over the place and makes all the, all kinds of tangles I mean at least for me it's usually rough getting it out the next day or even when you get back home from whatever you're doing and like me just to be honest I'm the kind of girl that like it's it's like since it hurts so bad to do it, it's like a struggle oh, every here. day. Oh here. Huh? Oh here. Yeah. It's like a struggle every day to brush it because I mean it usually it it literally feels like somebody is like pulling your hair when you're just trying to brush it. So those are my hacks. If if you're doing it by yourself and like it took me like a long time to figure out how to do my hair by myself so if you know how to put your hair in a ponytail like mine like this then um you can do that but also my hack is also if you're the kind of girl that wears your hair in a bun that would be a good hack or if you know how to braid your hair or French braid your hair or have somebody braid your hair for you. Matter of fact, most of the time I usually wear my hair in a ponytail or in a braid, unless you're going to church. Sometimes at church, I'll, a lot of times at church, I'll either wear it in a braid or down. But if it's really windy if you're, and you're tender-headed, it's a windy day, you're tender-headed, you're probably either going to want it in a braid or a bun. That is my axe. Thanks for watching. This is Abby. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, goodbye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye.